So, I'm an 18-year-old female student, and where I'm from, July is an exam period for everyone, so I drag my backpack everywhere with me. Anyway, it was 7am, and my exam was going to start at 9am. I decided to call an Uber and get there early, because I live at least one hour away from the exam centre. The car arrives on time, and I get in. Now, I'm not the type to judge someone, but for some reason, the driver made me feel really uneasy. He was in his mid-forties, he had dark circles around his eyes, and he was smirking a lot. He was silent for a good ten minutes, but then he started to ask me questions. He asked me if I was a student. I didn't really want to answer, thinking that he would try to hit on me. I lied and told him I was a proctor, hoping that he would just back off. I didn't know how wrong I was. He started to smirk and tell me he would always cheat on his exams and that I was a mean person for ruining people's lives. I don't know why, but I chuckled at his comment. This probably triggered him into thinking that I liked this. He then started to get personal. He asked me how old I was and if I would let my kid cheat. I lied and told him I was 34 and that I had a 16 year old kid. I did, and I still do, look pretty old for my age. I sort of hoped this would drive him off since I was old and had a kid, but instead, he got creepier. He then told me I looked like a strict person and if I had a whip in my backpack. He then asked me if my husband was strict like me and I told him that he was stricter, hoping to make him sound like the sort of dude you don't want to mess with. That did shut him up for a while, until I noticed that he was moving to a completely different region. Now, I'm not a map, but I know that the exam sensor could not be reached with that direction. I started to panic, but I was afraid he would do something if I confronted him, since we were in the middle of a rural area. I decided to get a fake phone call from my co-worker and pretended to talk to her, saying that I was in the Uber and that I would be there soon. Now, I shit you not, but when he heard this, he turned his car and went in the direction that he came from. As we were approaching the centre, he told me that should I catch someone cheating, to go back to him and let him drive them home to make some extra money, and then after that, he would take me to my address. The creepy part is that he had studied it by heart. He legit knew the name and the number. He was looking me in the eye and the way he sounded was like, I know where you live. Now, I still remember the car he drove. It was a blue Nissan. If I ever need an Uber again and I get stuck with a blue Nissan, I will cancel it no matter what. I didn't call his company because I was kind of afraid that he would come after me since he knows my address. I just didn't want to be associated with him anymore. So, creepy Uber guy, whose intentions I did not know, let's hope we never meet again. When I was 16, some friends and I went to an outdoor concert festival thing. We parked at the mall and took a shuttle to the venue. For perspective, the mall is a 20 minute drive from our homes and the venue is another 20 minutes away in a different direction. During the concert, I end up losing my friends in the crowd. I didn't care much as I wanted to get to the front and I could just call them after the concert ended. Well, of course, I lose my phone somewhere in the sea of people and I didn't even notice until the show wrapped up. I search the ground as the people dissipate with no luck. Reluctantly, I just hop on the bus, heading back to the mall, hoping to meet them at the car. But the car is gone, and I start to freak out a little bit. It's 10pm when I head to the bus station to see when the next bus is coming. Just my luck. It happened to be Memorial Day, so no buses until 10am. I borrow a stranger's phone and call the two numbers I know. My mum and my brother. My mum doesn't answer, but my brother does. He basically gives me the sucks to suck talk and hangs up. 
So I'm alone, scared, and a little drunk in a city I don't know. I tried walking, but quickly gave up when I realised I'm basically walking down a random highway towards who knows where. Back at the station, I'm just staring at the map when a stranger creeps up behind me. He asks me where I'm heading, and I tell him the truth. He, conveniently, is going to the same city and asks if I'd like to split a cab. Realising this is my only option, as I didn't have enough of my own, I agree, and we get in the car. It turns out, he had even less than I do. We barely have enough to get into the heart of the city, which is a 10 minute drive from my house, but at least I know my way home from there. During the drive, this guy gets progressively more creepy. He's aware I'm 16, and he's 25. He scoots closer every minute touching me, insisting I come with him back to his place, and even writes his phone number on my bare leg. As we get there, I realise the situation I'm in. We're about to get out in a quiet area at 2am and the cabbie is going to drive off, leaving no one to hear me scream. The second he gets out, I turn to the driver and beg him to take me a few streets further so I could at least put some distance between me and him. Now, the cab driver hadn't said a word the whole way, but he definitely heard everything. He asks me for my address and drives me all the way home. As the creeper watches as the cab drives off, me still inside. When we got to my home, I offered to wake my mum up to pay him, but he declined, saying he's just glad I'm safe. I broke through the kitchen window, got to bed, and cried tears of relief for who knows how long. So, to the cab driver who saved my skin, thank you. Thank you so fucking much. And to the creep who tried to get with a teenage girl, let's never meet again. This was a Sunday night. I was at the airport, about to request an Uber when I checked the lift prices. $20 cheaper to take lift. So, I requested one and almost cancelled it because it was taking a while to find someone, when eventually, a driver was found. Pretty much as soon as I entered the car and we started driving, he saw where I lived and started talking about murdering people in my city. It wasn't just a one-off line either, he kept going on and on about it. How he'd get the cold sweats afterwards and decided he didn't want to feel that, so he'd try not to do it. During this, I'm texting my boyfriend because this dude is just making me feel super weird. I wasn't really trying to converse with him, so all of this was unsolicited information. Then, he was saying how he was going to do a haunted house and make it seem super lame, making people want to leave early. Then, once you leave, when you thought you were safe, he'd get you. I asked him, how would you do that? Because I feel like a lot of people are really aware of their surroundings and would definitely see you coming. He then said, you never know, I might just get you tonight. I laughed and said, I don't think so, as he's literally pulling up to my apartment. When we parked, he just kept talking, so I'm like, okay, bye. And I had to unlock the car door myself. Now, when I got out to grab my luggage from the trunk, he almost took off with it. It was weird too, both, when he picked me up and dropped me off, as he'd just stand behind me like a creep. It was super uncomfortable. Now, the police were contacted, and I'm pretty sure Liv fired him but he definitely knows which apartment I live in. I just hope to never see that man again.